On December 4th of 2022, the world witnessed the arrival of a brand new superstar in marathon running. And this young great athlete was Kelvin Kiptum from Kenya. Before this day, Kiptum was completely untested over the marathon distance. And given that he was only 23 years old, this made him a very unlikely candidate to take this victory, as he was running against a very strong field with many athletes that have broken 206. However, for the following two hours of running, we would learn that this man was, in fact, the future of the marathon. After passing through the opening half marathon in 1 hour, 1 minute, and 38 seconds, Kiptum did the unthinkable as he managed to accelerate almost all the way to the finish line, crossing the tape first in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 53 seconds, which placed his second half marathon at 1 hour and 15 seconds. This closing half marathon at the time was the fastest second half that the world had ever seen over the marathon distance. And again, this was Kiptum's marathon debut. The magic of this Valencia marathon had birthed a brand new name who would eventually go on to become the world record holder of the 26.2 mile race, achieving a mind bending time of two hours and 35 seconds at the 2023 Chicago Marathon. And while no other athlete has ever been able to achieve the true greatness that Kelvin Kiptum did, we just saw another incredible marathon go down that achieved something that has never been done in the history of the event. At the 2024 Valencia Marathon, we had many of the greatest names in distance running set to compete, including the distance GOAT, Kenanisa Bakele from Ethiopia. But out of all of the talented individuals here, including a total of 11 athletes with personal records under 207, one special runner hailing from Kenya would ultimately prove to be the fastest. After hitting the half marathon split in 1 hour, 1 minute, and 17 seconds, the field still included around 10 athletes looking for this victory. But the eventual winner would do something that we have not seen since Kelvin Kiptum was competing. Over the final 10 kilometers, the Kenyan athlete Sebastian Sawe took a commanding lead with a huge surge, dropping 5 kilometer splits of 1424, followed by a 1406. And this final 10 kilometers proved to be too much for anyone to handle, as he took a mighty victory in 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 5 seconds, taking this win over Duressa Galetta from Ethiopia by 33 seconds. This negative split was a tremendous display of running, as Sawe ran a closing half marathon in 1 hour and 48 seconds. But what made this marathon even more memorable was the fact that this was Sawe's marathon debut. Throughout the history of marathon running, this is the second fastest debut to ever take place, only falling behind the amazing debut from Kelvin Kiptum back in 2022, where he ran his 201.53, and again, that was on this very course in Valencia. Seeing Sawe run this final stretch at such an incredible speed was truly incredible, and we saw glimpses of greatness that could put him as the athlete to beat over the next few years. And while this individual effort for Sawe was truly incredible, as this now ranks him as the fifth fastest marathoner to ever run over this distance, we actually saw even more greatness go down from many athletes in this marathon. Because for all of the top 10 athletes in this race, they all broke two hours in five minutes, which actually marks the very first time that this has ever happened in marathon running. The closest marathon in history to ever reach this achievement was the 2023 Berlin Marathon, which saw nine athletes breaking 205, with the 10th place finisher Bonfis Kiplimo running a time of 205.05. But now, the depth that we just saw in this year's Valencia Marathon officially tops them all. Now, getting under 205 is certainly crazy, but beyond this 205 barrier, we also had a few other notable athletes running here, including Edward Cesarek, who achieved a 205.24. We saw Andrew Buchanan from Australia smash the Australian record with a time of 206.22, making him the first Aussie to ever break 207. We also saw a new Israeli national record in 204.44, and we also saw Ababia Sambasa 
become one of only four athletes representing the United States to break 207, joining Ryan Hall, Galen Rupp, and Khalid Knucci on this list. Indeed, the speed up front was incredible, but something else also happened in this race that has a heavy influence on the 2024 season as a whole. For this year's Valencia Marathon, we saw a total of 24 athletes breaking 208, which already represents one of the deepest fields by any standard that we have seen. And this means that in 2024 alone, we have seen exactly 200 marathon performances that broke the two hour and eight minute barrier, which in the history of marathon running now ranks this season as the second highest of all time in terms of athletes breaking 208. When we chart this number against the previous years, dating all the way back to the year 2000, we can see that perhaps the influence that Super Shoes have had on 208 running is somewhat starting to stabilize, or perhaps the fact that many people focused on this year's Olympic Games took away from their ability to break 208, as this year's Olympic Marathon was notably hilly and also had no pacers, which basically means that you will not run as fast as you will in various major marathons. There are certainly many factors that go into an athlete running 208, and there are certainly other factors that go into many athletes breaking two hours and eight minutes. But what is noteworthy is that in this year's Valencia Marathon alone, we saw more sub-208 times than we saw in the year 2000, 2001, 2002, 2004, 2005, and in 2006. Indeed, marathon running right now is certainly reaching new highs that we have never seen in the history of the event. And this year's Valencia Marathon is a great representation of how even someone that has never run this distance can achieve a top five all-time performance. But in terms of overall speed, this marathon also put 2024 into a brand new level of excellence. Here's a chart that we previously made looking at the average time of all of the top 10 performances every single season dating back to 2017. Since the inception of Super Shoes, there has clearly been a downward trend with the fastest overall times coming from the past two years. And specifically, 2023 currently has the fastest overall time ever with 2024 standing right behind it just outside of two hours and three minutes. But when we add this year's Valencia Marathon to this list, we get a brand new top 10 average that places 2024 just under 203, with the top 10 average this year now coming out to 202.59. Just like the number of 208 runners, perhaps this top 10 average is somehow balancing out overall, representing the peak levels of speed and depth that can be achieved with the new advancements that have been brought on by Super Shoes. Or perhaps 2025 could be yet another record-breaking year with even more greatness now just around the corner. And now I would love to hear from all of you about this year's Valencia Marathon. What do you think about Sebastian Sawe's marathon debut just outside of 202? And also, what do you think is really happening in the marathon as a whole? Are we starting to reach the highest levels possible in the marathon when it comes to speed and depth? Have super shoes really reached their limits? Or is something greater just around the corner? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.